Oh, wow, that looks round. New permission, 1790s house. Some really historic land that I'll get to in the days coming, but this is evening, just a test. Looking for anything old. Yeah, it's kind of a penny tone, but it's acting a little bigger. Let's see what we got. Something round, something round, man made. It's big. Oh, wow. Looks like some enamel on there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's pretty ornate, though. Oh, wow. Very cool. Not sure of the age, but there it is. It's paper on it. Can't be too old. Actually, two keys. A little key spill. Yep, there's another one. Three. Four. Up to four. Looks interesting. Thought it was gonna be the handle to a oh it's a little tiny pocket knife. <laughs> That's what it is. I think it's pottery in the hole, but look at this. It's like a little baby spoon. Oops. Doesn't want to come out. <laughs> there we go. Fancy design on top. It was probably silver plated at one time. It's got a little age. The hinge to a hot carpenter's scale. Very distinctive shape. Seen them bigger, seen them smaller. But the rule would have gone off this way and then opened up, flattened out straight, and then fold in half. And this is the hinge area. It's round, but it's too round, too big. Now it could be pocket watch. Very corroded. Oops, it's falling apart. Yeah, it must be uh, parts to a pocket watch, the innards to a pocket watch. Is that it right there? Might be a lipstick tube. Yeah, sure looks like it. Up against the old rock wall that lines the back of the property. Yep. Something round. Something kind of round. Goodness, don't know what that is. I don't know, something fancy for the top of a lamp. Pretty cool. Don't know how old it is. Oh, it's really round. Oh my god, it's a ball. Oh, it's some kind of a doorknob. Drawer pole, doorknob. Probably the old doorknob. Just took that monster. Came out of right here. Look at that. No idea how old it is, but this is the biggest target I've ever dug. It's over here. You got it, whatever it is. Ooh, holy crap. What the heck? Chain attached to it. That was the uh 
iron signal right there. Some kind of a fob before I attack the really historical area. <laughs> the circles around the edge could be a coin, but we know it's not. Yeah, some kind of commemorative token. Pretty cool. The history here is uh, goes way back, and the family has owned this property forever. So I don't know if things have been detected. I have no clue. However, if you come back into here, which I'm really excited about, this this area has so much potential. Four houses on one side and four houses on the other. It was eight houses back here. There was a mill right here. There was a large mill related building right here but in all there were 11 different cellar holes out here and with a little luck we'll be finding things at every one of them I started to hunt and i didn't walk five feet and i found something interesting in the hole you'll see you know i don't know the age but i'm guessing 1800s and if this is any indication it's going to be a really fun day. Beautiful. Look at this toe tap. Really nice condition. Beautiful little toe tap. Yeah? <laughs> it's going to be endless today. You know, it's probably about five, six acres at least. But on this side, cellar hole, cellar hole, cellar hole, cellar hole. This side, cellar hole, cellar hole, cellar hole cellar hole is eight four on each side of this field i got what i thought was a penny signal and dug it up very shallow not deep at all and it's something i don't i'm not familiar with 1855 it looks like there's a lion on this side all kinds of writing around the perimeter but the date is fairly clear there well my eyes are horrible 1855 it looks like and on this side, one cent. Simple, same as a penny. Don't know what country it's from, but you'll see it on the screen. It's a great start to a uh, wide open field full of cellar holes. Expect to find this stuff, absolutely. It's a style I haven't seen before, but I don't expect to find anything older than maybe early 1800s here. You never know. See what pops up. Got a 1920 penny signal. Sure enough, it's a penny. Right next to the fork. The fork came out of the ground right there. So I'm kind of in a... Oh, it's an Indian. Let's see if we can date it. Yeah, it shouldn't be hard. It's an 1895 or 96. I'm not real sure, but the third digit and the third and fourth digit are a little bit funky. But they'll come out, you'll see it on the screen. I'm kind of in the cellar hole footprint right now, one of the cellar holes. <laughs> it's gotta be a woman's compact. Yeah, there's kind of a hinging mechanism. That would have been the, hopefully the mirror. Yeah, calling it a compact. What I'd expect to find around these old homes. Hopefully I'll be able to get a date off the uh, knob. That is a oil lamp wick advance. Finding tons of harmonica reeds. Yeah, it's got to be. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. Tough to age them. Pocket knife. As I said, lots of harmonica reeds, harmonica plates, cover plates in the woods here especially. Uh, seems like everybody had a harmonica in this little neighborhood. I've yet to find anything other, anything substantial or anything that's even close to a high tone. <laughs> Something will appear though. I think it's been combed before, but there's plenty out here, mid-tones everywhere. I don't normally get too excited about pennies, but it's been uh, tough sledding out here with a lot of industrial waste and a lot of modern aluminum. Um, I've only gotten three and this is definitely a one center 
and the wreaths on the back. And there it is. Looks like 1903. 1903 Indian head. No, no. No, it's a jackknife. It's a pocket knife. Broken blade, pocket knife. Harmonica reeds and pocket knives. It's missing one of the scales. This one's still on. They all look around the same era. Don't hold, turn of the century, maybe late 1800s, don't even know. But uh, at least it's non industrial. <laughs> Harmonica reeds, jackknives, and spoons. Little nature moment. I don't know why he's so afraid of me. It looks like a partial skeleton key. It's either partial or a very unique one. Just coming back to the car, right outside the uh, 1790 home. I get kind of a one-way signal here. That's nice dirt. But it's a nice 2728. So I'm hoping it's similar to my 2728s in the field. Ooh, nice dirt. That's, that's a bent nail. Nail. Oh. Wow. That looks round. Oh, baby. That is US for sure. It's got to be the reef side. Oh, I see stars. Oh, it's a matron for sure. She's looking left. Yeah, one cent. U.S. Largy, right here in the yard. Great way to finish an afternoon. <laughs>